Hi everybody, how are you? I'm Patricia McNeely located in Chicago and I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame and the creator of Four Zone Healing for Your Medical Ascension. That means if you feel like your doctors don't know what's going on, please work with us. Please work with me because we do. We know Ascension and let's get right into this topic which brings us to empaths. So a lot of people do feel empathy and there's a difference between empathy which is more like sympathy and being an empath which can make people feel like they are overloaded and just generally dumped on now you can feel like this in your intimate relationship with someone it feels like you take on everything and this is very common for females particularly magnetic feminine who you know you could be a good listener but if you start to feel backstabbed you start to feel a lot of heart pressure or things on your chest or you can feel literally that people's stuff is jumping onto you somehow the minute that they open their mouth and to them they may just be explaining it what they and maybe you don't know is that this has occurred in lifetime after lifetime after lifetime it is uh, the very put upon female that is here to end that, okay? We're saying enough, okay? What that means is that you have a brand new light body, which doesn't want to take it, take it, take it. You do want to listen. You do want to be sympathetic. You need to learn to use the other side of your nervous system, otherwise just the one side gets overloaded and pulled down and next thing you know it leads to illness such as depression mental health addictions which came first the addiction or the human well i'm gonna say this the humans because we didn't always need things to help us cope nor did we ever need things to help us deal with something or you know numb the pain or something like that addictions are not the answer even though it makes people feel like they have a go-to thing there is a new answer now and this is exactly what is meant by leaving duality it's not go crazy or get yourself messed up it's not you know go get angry or go get a six pack of beer and you know or three bottles of wine or whatever okay trust me i know that that's been the way for centuries decades there was a time when people couldn't financially afford this stuff this stuff is affordable now but you know what's not affordable all the health and mental health things that people are getting denied or that people are being told you have to get on a waiting list so here we are to help you stop being an empath stop being an empath let's get your superpowers what are some of those superpowers? Well, let's talk about some of the good stuff, shall we? So we have a class that's coming up and in it, we are gonna talk about what some of your superpowers are. They are deep levels of discernment. This means that what it, it's sort of really the way a true healer should work, but some maybe you're not in the capacity of a healer. Maybe you are someone who is a boss or you have a boss or you have children or family. You need some deep discernment and detachment from their stuff so that you can properly cope, properly come up with solutions and implement those solutions. What could that be? It could be a new way of disciplining one of your children where they're going through a patch of time and you just need to do it differently then your mom and dad or your ancestors did it. That's part of your superpowers. Other superpowers include a ramping up of many of your senses, including the multiple senses. There's about 20 other senses that your light body has that are not included in the physical five senses that we talk about. So in addition to an expansion of your five senses, taste touch sight hearing feeling right there's a lot that you're intended to do but when i say intended what i mean is this is the direction of ascension 
It is to expand you. It is not just to heal you or make you a better person. If you want self-improvement, you can go take a little, you know, uh, I don't know, book out of the library. This is experiential. This is a complete immersion in your light body so that you are developing this. And that, yes, it has that ripple effect on your other half, your true love, where they are. Because sometimes you just can't pick up a phone and say, hey, you want to do this thing with me? They'll usually say no or not know what the hell you're talking about. And that's okay because love hits the mark. It hits you first so that you get better. Because if not one of you is better, then neither of you is going to be better. If there's not peace inside you're not going to have peace in the land. How are you going to pull the people off that 3D playground and get them to stop and come to reason and come to their senses and come to other better solutions? Okay, maybe that's a topic for another webinar. I think it is. But in this webinar, we need to start with how do you stop being an empath? How do you stop feeling overly sensitive? Do you know the difference between an empath and a narcissist? Do you know the difference between an empath and someone who's neurotic? Because people might tell you, well, you're just being neurotic, and then they'll dismiss you, and then they dismiss your stuff, and then they invalidate you, and next thing you know, you're like, oh, all my life, all my childhood, I've been invalidated, and I'm feeling everything. There you go. You're an empath. When you complain about it, People start to say, what gives? You're changing. Yes, you are changing because if nothing changes, then nothing will change. And nothing will change for you or for those you love or for anyone else. So when we do expand, yes, it gets better. That is the natural result of the integration of your brand new light body, new chakras, Get the old ones unclogged. Get them unraveled. Give back to whoever you need to give back to. Give them back. There's a thing that I talk about in this also, which is called the boomerang effect, and it's really cool. Now, here's how it works. We develop, right, your shield, okay? your space helmet, whatever, your 5D heart shield is what I call it, but it's a part of your light body. It should be enveloping you. Sometimes it's very tangible and sometimes it's, you know, a little closer to you. It's not way out. You should not be sending your energies out to all of humanity right now. You need all of you for you, especially if you're an empath. And here's how this works. Here comes the same old person ready to dump on you and dump all their stuff and seek your sympathy and help and everything else or their anger. And in the past, we, and even present, we've had to be afraid of people's angers because we don't know if that will bring out violence or destruction. And so what do we do? We cower, we cringe. Now you get to stand up and watch it boomerang by, right back to them because guess who it hurts? It hurts them. I had this happen with someone I care about. It was my son. Now, there's a, a thing to say about children. They are immature. They are like little unripe fruits that can't just do these things. They're, they're still developing. They're still expanding. It doesn't matter if they've incarnated and they're an old soul inside there. They are still developing. And so they will have moments where they're like, mom, and they want to give it to you. And energetically, and he started doing this, ow, ow, like I had done something to him. But what happened was the thing he was trying to be upset about and put it on me, it went right back to him. And naturally, I comforted him and I said, you know what, it's okay, honey, can we... Let's let's talk about this, but maybe let's go for a walk first. Let it dissipate, okay? Let the intensity dissipate, okay? Because that's what happens to people. It gets really intense and they're looking for somewhere to put it or for someone to sleep with to get it off. That's not going to work anymore. 
This is why people are having things come right back to them. And we need this law of diminishing effect where it doesn't affect you so personally, so personally, so personally, not at all. It's their stuff. Now, can you step in? Yes, when you are better. That's when it's proper service to self, not the other way around. So I hope that you can join us. Please look at the links below. We also do sessions to help you with your mental and physical health, energy healing and integration sessions for your psyche, for your careers, for your spirit, for addictions. We have those. So please check us out and we hope to see you there. Bye now.